Hello and welcome to the guidance for your year 11 revision for MFL. So there are four skills that need to be practiced in order to achieve success in the exam. These are speaking, writing, reading and listening. The skills needed to be successful in speaking and writing are very similar and also the ones for reading and listening are similar too. However, there are specific things that they need to be doing in order to achieve success in the different components. For example, for speaking, they are, there are conversation topics that need to be learnt. Uh, there are photo cards, language for which also needs to be learnt. For both speaking and writing, it's really important that the students are confident in communicating in three different tenses, the present, the future and the past and that they can use a variety of different connectives to extend their sentences and use a variety of adjectives also in order to create interesting opinions. So starting with those conversation topics for the speaking, there are five topics, um, as you can see there. The students are required to choose one of those topics that they will definitely speak about in the course of the speaking exam. So they will choose one of those topics. They have already been given a booklet with the uh, questions for each of those topics in them. And over the course of Key Stage 4, the students will have prepared and written and down their answers. So for that chosen topic, it's really, really important that they are very secure in knowing what questions it is they're going to be asked and how they're going to be answering them by learning their answers for those questions. They will also get a surprise conversation topic which will be chosen from the one of the other four themes. So again, it's really important that the students are very familiar with the type of question they're going to be asked for each of those topics and also to learn their prepared answers for those questions. So they, they really do need to be looking and familiarising themselves again with topics, especially those that they did in, back in year nine and in year 10, in order to be successful for when the exam comes around. In addition to the topics, they also have um, photo cards that they need to be describing. Now, all the students have been given um, a booklet called A Guide to Success in Speaking and Writing Exams. This includes structures and vocabulary needed to tackle the photo cards in particular, um, but also how to um, communicate in those longer, more extended sentences that I was talking about earlier. There are also um, lists of a bank of sentences and phrases in three different tenses that students can learn off by heart and they can be linked into any of the topics that they've been doing. So that is a really important uh, resource for your students to be using and revising and learning from. In addition to that booklet, um, they have also been given a vocabulary booklet, which looks like this. This is a, an example of the, the front cover of the German one. And in that, that contains all the vocabulary they need uh, across all of the topics in the GCSE course. So they have been learning this vocabulary over, since year nine uh, and they will continue to be using this booklet up until the end of the course. However, it's really, really important again that students learn as much of that vocabulary as possible in order to be successful so that they can use lots of interesting language, but also understand it when they come to the reading and listening exams. So for the reading and listening exams, not only do they have this booklet, uh, which they need to be using now, but also to help them learn vocabulary further, they have also been given access to an online uh, vocabulary learning platform called Quizlet. Uh, and this is an example of the year 11 German um, one. And on there you can see there are lots of different topics and things that have been uploaded lots of different um, grammar points that they can learn, vocabulary that they can learn, which covers all the aspects of the course. 
Quizlet is a really nice learning platform because it tests and practices vocabulary in a variety of different ways, which helps all sorts of different learners. Um, so that coupled with the vocabulary booklet is a really um, good way to be able to learn vocabulary. If your child is trying to learn vocabulary from the vocabulary booklet, I would suggest they use the look cover uh, say write check method where they look at the words, they try and remember them, look at the meanings of them, they cover up the words, they say them to themselves, write them down and then check to make sure that they've got it right and then build up the, that vocabulary slowly in that way. I say say because by speaking the vocabulary out loud to themselves, that actively engages their brains with the language and it makes it much easier to learn something. So that's learning a vocabulary. But in order to embed that vocabulary into their long-term memory, it's a really, really good idea to then practice using their vocabulary in context by doing and completing reading and listening activities. In order to do that, the students have two different ways. They have access to Active Learn, where they have a login, and they are able then to do practice listenings and reading activities that have been put on the system. So what I would suggest is that they learn a set of vocabulary on that particular topic, and they then do activities, listening and reading activities based on that topic, which will then embed the language further into their long-term memories. They've also got the opportunity, and many people have bought these already, the revision guides and workbooks. This is an example of a page of a workbook where, again, you can see lists of vocabulary, but there are also activities that they can also be doing. This is a copy, uh, an example of a French one. This is a reading one. Um, and also uh, there are listening activities they can be doing in this booklet too. Um, the listening activities can be accessed uh, via the Edexcel website. There's an example of a, a listening activity. You have to download the that QVR, I think it's called, reader onto a mobile phone and you scan it and then you can access the audio in order to be able to complete the listening. So that really encompasses everything that your child needs to be doing in order to be very successful in the, uh, their MFL exams. And if they do all of this, then I'm sure they will be very successful. I hope that's been helpful. Thank you very much.